welcome to our party. We hope to make you smile. Perhaps at least your problems for a while. With bits of Texas wisdom, we'll banish doom and gloom at the pretty darn good Opry on Zoom. With a pretty darn good Opry on Zoom. We'll play for you like we're sitting in your room. So sip the beverage of your choice and listen to your voice of oh, the pretty darn good Opry on Zoom. Well, what a cast of characters we have for you online. Pretty soon we'll have you feeling fine. With bits of Texas wisdom, we'll banish doom from bloom on the pretty darn good Opry on Zoom. We're the pretty darn good Opry on Zoom. We'll play for you like we're sitting in your room. So sip the beverage of your choice and listen to the voice of the pretty darn good Opry on Zoom. So sip the beverage of your choice and listen to the voice of the pretty darn good Opry on Zoom. All right, good evening and welcome everybody to the pretty good Opry on Zoom as brought to you by the Dallas Songwriters Association all the way from parts all around Dallas and all across the country as well. And I am Alan Larson, your host for tonight. And as such, I get to start the proceedings with a song. Um... So let's do this one. This is about no time for that. Gonna take some time out for myself. Put all my worries up on the shelf. Trouble's been trying to set me back Ain't got no time for any of that Gonna take a little walk out into the fields When I feel the breeze on my skin it'll get me healed Gonna make all my troubles scurry and scat Damn straight, taking my life back. Now I'm not gonna be somebody's doormat. Ain't got no time for any of that. Can't you see? That ain't for me. You're just not where I'm at. Gonna listen from now on to my heart. Put back everything that's falling apart Cause I got caught up around some sewer rats Only want to make you fall flat There's just too many folks wearing tinfoil hats Life's too short for any of that Can't you see That ain't for me Just no, not where I'm at It's like springtime every day of the year Gonna make all my troubles scurry and scat Damn straight taking my life back Cause I got caught up around some sewer rats Folks wearing tinfoil hats Not gonna be somebody's doormat Ain't got no time for any of that can't you see, that ain't for me, there's 
just no time for that There's just no time for that There's just no time for that No time for that How did you get that tone, Alan? The guitar that tone uh, a capoing five strings. No, the guitar tone, like uh, running direct or mic in. Oh, just or direct. Just, face shifter just or... through my expensive USB microphone. That's it? Just purely acoustic? Yeah. Wow, sounds good. Does it really? Okay, good. Through the magic of Martin <laughs> and technology and Zoom. Yeah, so... Uh, so that gets us started. I think Mr. Harry will be our next performer. Mr. There he is right Mr. There. Mr. Harry, Mr. Harry, yes, me. Well, anyway, welcome to DSA's pretty darn good opera on Zoom. You know. So uh, here, play a little song. Seems like yesterday First time I saw my daddy pray Kept my eyes open Enough to see What he was doing In church on his knees I knelt next to him while he was praying But couldn't hear what he was saying I saw his tears and wondered why it hurt When I was a kid, Lord, little boy in church Now I'm a father Lord, you gave me a son Last night he said, Daddy, it's drinking fun I'm so afraid He's gonna be like me I'm back here in church On my knees And he's kneeling next to me While I am praying He's trying But can't hear what I am saying He sees my tears He's a kid, Lord, little boy in church. I'm going to do my best, do the best I can. Make that kid grow up to be a man Gonna need your help, Lord Show him the way So keep his eyes open when I pray He's kneeling next to me while I am praying He's trying but can't hear what I am saying He's a kid, Lord, little boy in church. He's a kid, Lord, little boy in church. Amen, brother. That is a great song, Harry. Amen. <laughs> All right, Harry. Very nice. And next up to bat, it's Keith Dotson. Uh, I 
Take my all to climbing up the ladder of success I got knocked down at every rung Just weren't my time, I guess I tried to slay the giants But they slew me, I confess I chucked it all and went my own way Well, you may say I'm aimless I say that's a plus Cause when you're going nowhere You're always on the right bus If you're thinking to yourself That I'm cantankerous You need to walk a mile in my blue Gave my all to love with the girl that I once knew. She told me I had no idea what I was supposed to do. She laughed and ran away. Yeah, she left me feeling blue. I chucked it all and went my own way. Well, you may say I'm aimless. I say that's a plus. When you're going nowhere, you're always on the right bus. And if you're thinking to yourself that I'm cantankerous, you need to walk a mile in my blue. Gave my all to others Yeah, I tried to be a saint Spent my days serving one and all Without complaint But I could not satisfy them Though I'd work till I would faint Well, I chucked it all and went my own way Well, you may say I'm aimless I say that's a plus when you're going nowhere, you're always on the right bus. And if you're thinking to yourself that I'm cantankerous, you need to walk a mile in my blues. Oh, you need to walk a mile in my blues. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that walking beat there. And okay, Jenny is up to bat. Uh, I saw your note about backgrounds, but we don't need no. How's that? We don't need no backgrounds. We know stinking background. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was trying to come up with. So you've been traveling. I, I saw on Facebook, uh, you've been at some hotels that look really nice. Thank you. That, are you a travel agent or a travel consultant? Or? No, I'm just um, building up my YouTube channel. So that's what I'm basically doing is I'll go to like one really fancy hotel and then I'll milk it for like two or three weeks reviewing parts. Part one, part two, part three. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. And uh, so I'm having fun with that. Yeah, it looks fun. Thanks. <laughs> so what you got for us? Okay. I know you don't know. Wait, the air conditioner's on. Let me, sorry about that. I know you don't know this, but the words you write sound like they're from someone I know. And I can tell you for sure, it's healing my heart. I knew them and loved them a long time ago. Ever get that feeling God's working through you and it's blessing other people like me? Well, that is the gift of giving your art and what you sing is freeing parts of me. I have your lover and past women to thank for the songs you are singing to them. I never come between two hearts. I'll never try to take a man, but I for sure 
and shout an amen. Let me tell you about my love. He was the joy of my life, but darkness came to taunt him. He loved his God with all that he knew, ready to see a more passionate man. He worked so hard, used every resource, but a stronghold would not set him free. I am the hoping type, so without any vows, we endured through some sad and bad dreams. I never cried so hard over anyone more. He's my soulmate for eternity. So thank you for your tunes and how they softened my heart. Songs remind me of all he was to me. Keep on singing and keep on believing. He works through your words to bless others. I give thanks to the Lord. I give thanks for your pen. I give thanks for the love from him. Thank you. You're good. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, Steve, have you had a change of of mind? Or? Well, I haven't yet, but you never know. I'm gonna, let me look and see if what I have that, that I'm okay. not. Okay. Work, work me in a little later. Okay. I, 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 okay. We'll get back to you in the meantime. It's time for Ace. All right. Thank Firstly you, thank back you, thank from, you. Thank you. Firstly back from a cruise where I saw you carrying a sloth around. Yes, it was the coolest thing, Alan. It would just, I went to this place that uh, they had all these, these wild animals that you could interact with and they let you hug a sloth. And hugging a sloth is a wonderful thing. It was a very sweet creature. And then I got walked on by uh, uh, capuchin monkeys, and I, uh, I, I had a, uh, a parrot sit on my shoulder, which is especially cool because I had a Pittsburgh Pirate T-shirt. So the pirate with the, uh, the, the parrot on his shoulder was a nice, uh, nice kind of thing. But also the, the, the thing about that place that we went was that apparently it was owned by f uh, former Pittsburghers. So I walked into this place and there is Steelers stuff everywhere. And I was just, oh man, these people are waiting for me. So once they heard I was from the Berg, we had a, a very nice conversation and it, it was great. Roatan was incredible. It's a lovely island. And we had some great rum and some wonderful lunch and uh, got some nice cigars. So it was, uh, it was great. And I got to paddle around in the ocean. Well, the Caribbean. The blue, beautifully clear Caribbean, which was just wonderful. So, yes, thank you. A good time was had by all, I assure you. Hey, Ace, and, you've heard about the uh, sloth that got mugged one day? Why, no. Well, he got mugged by three snails. <laughs> the, the police were asking him about it, and he says, you know, it all happens so fast. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, they are slow, but I'm kind of slow, too, so it was a, it was a, it was a good thing. That'd be the perfect pet for me. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to take it out for a big walk. That's for darn sure, you know. <laughs> And anyway, all right, but it was it was a great experience. We got to see some Mayan ruins, and it was cool. So I, I highly recommend it. It was uh, it was a lot of fun. I'm going to play one I wrote fairly recently. As a matter of fact, uh, as a reaction to the lovely uh, afternoon that we had at the dancing Marlin with everybody, and this this song just came out of it because it was just a lovely afternoon with great friends and uh, people seemed to enjoy us, so. Well, gather round you neighbors we're here to entertain to gently nudge your funny bones and stimulate your brains 
There will be no auto tune or fancy pyrotechnics, technics, just us friends here together, getting down to basics. Well, friendship is the thing that makes us wanna sing. We're playing real music, the kind that you used to play. We're playing real music, and we'll be around all day. We sure do appreciate your kind attention. We know that you have other things to do. We're so glad to see the smiles on your faces when you stop and let us play for you. So drop the 3D goggles and pull up a wooden chair. Let's dissolve the distance between here and there. This is not about the spectacle or the fancy clothes we're wearing. This is just handmade music and it's our way of sharing. Well, friendship is the thing that makes us want to sing. We're playing real music, the kind they used to play. We're playing real music, and we'll be around all day. We're playing real music kind they used to play we're playing real music and we'll be around all day and we were Thank i just you. want to Thank say you. i sure enjoyed sharing the stage with you and bill oh absolutely that was fun we'll do that again that was cool well, Everybody we'll kind of different cool. states since the yeah. Ellen Brewing Company is out of business. No, oh, no, a tragedy in our times. Well, there are there are other stages, my friend. Or we're at that stage of life anyway. <laughs> what stage of life is this? All the world's a stage, and all the people merely actors. Yes, absolutely. Hey, we skipped Jenny, didn't we? Oh, we sure did. No, we didn't. No. Jenny came no, before didn't. me. No, didn't. I went. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bill Martin. Uh oh, I better remember how this goes. Somehow I knew it was wrong. But Lord God, I tried.
All right. How do you have your guitar tuned? It would be taking your taking a uh, um. It's it's like a G style tuning, but I tune the whole G style down a full step to F, and then down another half step to E. So this is actually a B note, and this is actually an E note. Here's another B, and here's another E, and here's a G sharp. Let's see if that's right. Yeah. And this would be another B. But if you think of it like, let's see, if this was right, if this was the nut instead of a capo, this would be a G chord, and this would be an A chord. If it were a G chord, what would those strings be tuned to? Oh, yeah, if I were doing a G chord, I would drop the E, the low E down a full step to D, the low A down a full step to G, leave the other three as is, and then drop the high E down to D. That would be the G style chord. So yes. what you've got is BBG B, 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 Sharpie tuning. Uh, it's it, uh, it. What? Instead of Dad Gad, you've got BBB Sharpie or BBG Sharpie. No, there's no BB. It's like B A. I'm sorry, B E. Yeah, B E B E. Yeah. B Baba Louie, Eleanor Rigby, Baba Louie. Yeah. Ellen Rigby, G sharp, and then. Back well, if you to spell Bible. it out, you've got B E. That's B. B, B E. It's, it's, B, it's just a G sharp B. G -sharp. It's an E. Open E tuning. Yeah, only yep. it's not your typical open. Not the regular e. one. Yes. It's <laughs> and so if it was. And if it was G tuning, it would be like Dad Gad, except for the. F a and, and dad is down to a yeah, G. Yeah, D A D G. -A. But otherwise the same. Yeah, the G has been changed. Right. Yeah, the D would be changed to an F. Sh no. D A D. No. I'm thinking G, the open the G. G that's changed. open G tuning. <laughs> yeah, that would be an open D I'm, tuning, but it would be an E. It would sound like an E, only a full step down. But yeah, the G D A D G would be slipped down to an F sharp. Yeah, dad gad is the only difference is the G note, which would be dropped a half a step to F sharp, which would be an E sounding chord, but it would be a it would be pitched to a D. It's all very confusing. I try to make it as simple as possible, but I don't think I did a very good job at all. I'm confused again, but yeah, okay. Well, I was um, trying to be funny and that messed everything up. <laughs> well, no, you did a good job. B. E, B, E, uh, G sharp, B. Yeah. But it's B, like B, the B, G sharp, style B, B, G sharp only, B. Yeah, only it's down a full step and a half from there. Yeah, well, our, our, our audience is down from two to one. <laughs> Let, yeah, get <laughs> on me Facebook, off the screen. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to mute. Lost yeah. everybody but the guitarists. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where's well, Barb? Our, uh, Barbie oh, McMillan's turn. Hello, everybody. I'm sorry I'm late. Let's see. Hi. I forget yes. all participants. <clears throat> Let's see if I can do this. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, okay. Somebody beat me to it. <laughs> I'm slow. All right. I'm going to do a uh, song that won Song of the Year in 2019. A little ballad about some outlaws in North Texas. You heard the story of Jesse James. Of how okay, I'm going to interrupt you. I'm almost yeah. certain I should have interrupted you before, but I was going to guess I had a 50 50 chance of asking you if your musician sound off. And it is on. not. Thank you for stopping me. Sorry it's, for not it, stopping it says you sooner. Off. Yeah, we no. could not hear your p keyboard. Can, can you now hear it now? Can. Yeah, now we can. How's that? Okay, great. <laughs> Let's try this one more time here. How's that sound? You heard the story of Jesse James, of how he lived and he died. But if you're still in need of some alloy, 
indeed. Here's the story of Bonnie and Clyde. Now Bonnie and Clyde and the Barrow Gang were said to be worth their weight in lead. Oh, they'd rob and steal, and those who'd squeal were usually found dying or dead. Well, you can't believe the fake news, no. The gang wasn't so ruthless as that, yeah. And their nature was raw, but they hated the law. Stool pigeons, spiders, and rats. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Doodle-doodle, what'll they do? On a wild ride, needing a place to hide. That's the story of Bonnie and Clyde. They were called cold, cold-blooded killers. It was said they were heartless and mean. Bonnie said with pride that she once knew Clyde when he was honest, upright, and clean. But the law fooled around, kept taking him down and locking him up in a cell. Till he said to Bonnie, I'll never be free. So I'll meet a few of them in hell. A newsboy said, to his associate, I wish your Clyde would get jumped. Now in these awful hard times, we'd make a few dimes if five or six cops would get bumped. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, doodle doodle, what'll they do? Oh no, all right, needing a place to hide. That's the story of Bonnie and Clyde. Some people have suffered from heartbreak, from weariness, some people have died. But take it all in all, our troubles are small compared to Bonnie and Clyde. If a copper was bumped in Big D and the blue had no clue or guide, well, they'd like wipe their slate clean. They couldn't find a fiend and blame it on Bonnie and Clyde. There were two crimes in the U.S. of A, not credited to the Barrow mob. They had no hand in the kidnapped man, nor the Kansas City Depot job. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, doodle-doodle, what'll it do? Oh, no, all right, need a place to hide. That's the story of Bonnie and Clyde. When the Times went to press with the crime report, Clyde called Bonnie one day. He said, now don't start any fights. We ain't working nights. We're joining the NRA. From over in Irving to the West Dallas Viaduct was known as the Great Divide. Where women were kin and men were men, and they didn't stew on Bonnie and Clyde. If they tried to act like honest citizens and rip them a cozy little flat. About the third night, they were invited to fight by a sub guns rat a tat tat. They didn't think they were too tough or desperate. They knew that the law always wins. They've been shot at before, but they could not ignore that the death is wages of sin. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, doodle, doodle, what'll they do? Oh, no, I'll ride, needing a place to hide. That's the story of Bonnie and Clyde. Well, the road was winding, and so dimly lit, there were no highway signs to guide. But they made up their mind, if all the roads were blind, they wouldn't give up till they died. And the road got dimmer and dimmer, so dark you could hardly see. But they fight man to man and do all they can, for they know they can never be free. And in the end, they went down together, but they weren't buried side by side.
to view there was grief to the law a relief that's the story of bonnie and clyde that's the story of bonnie and clyde that's the story of bonnie and clyde a little outlaw song thank you thank you very much you're writing outlaw music now. <laughs> okay. Well, are you going to leave your fan on or are you going to suffer for your art? Are you asking me? Yeah. My fan's off. You might be hearing my central air. Oh. So, Alan, you got a gig this weekend. Yeah, at the uh, Mesquite Farmer's Market. 11 a.m.? That is correct. Yeah, that's going to be just before it starts getting hot. How long are you playing? And, well, they only expect an hour, but I'll probably play, play a couple hours. Mm -hmm. Depending. It's get pretty hot this weekend. Yeah. Well, where, where is that, Alan? The Mesquite Farmer's Market? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look it up on my Google Maps every time I go. It's... Um, it's close to the railroad tracks, and it's right there in that downtown square, not far Yeah, from it's a downtown square area. Um, on, on that little poster I put on Facebook, I copy and paste it over there, uh, the directions they list on their own website. Um, That's where I saw it on Facebook. Yeah, let's see. So just, just Google anybody. We all have maps, Alan. We're, we're yeah. all going to Google it anyway. I wouldn't worry about the yeah. directions. Is that on Saturday? Is that on Saturday, Ellen? Uh, yeah, yeah, every Saturday. Um, 11 o'clock, okay. Well, this is annoying, but okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's at Front Street Station, 100 West Front Street. This area is north of Main Street between Ebright and Galloway, if that means anything to anybody here. I keep trying to remember the name of the street. I know it's phonetically similar to Wisdom, Camp Wisdom and Gus Thomason, but it's nothing anywhere near in location. But I'm trying to remember Camp. This, uh, it's on the tip of my brain. What's the name of that big street that you would turn off on if you were on 635? I don't know. <laughs> it was it's amazing. Galloway. Is it Galloway? No, it's... it's. Does it, does it become... Whatever it is becomes Thomas Main Street. Zion um, Military Parkway. Military Parkway. Yes. I'm almost certain you can bet oh, on that. That's in my next song. <laughs> All right. <laughs> huh. uh, today I was fooling around with Windows as the latest update added this co pilot thing, this AI thing. So I asked it to make another promotional poster for it and the results were really weird because it would misspell stuff and leave stuff out and then but they're kind of cool graphics but i know i put one on my facebook page if you want to check it out but uh, i guess onward and forward with the with music this is uh, my song clear blue sky myself turned inside out filled with doubt you tell you how my day's gone wrong you just look at me and laugh say oh come on then suddenly I'm feeling fine Back in line, I resist how I try, I do how I try. Some days this old world leaves me so downtrodden, feel so rotten. I get so broken in despair, but you bring me up. Welcome breath of sweet fresh air Now the 
sun is shining, I feel fine. You pull me right back in line. I resist, but now all I see is nothing, nothing but clear blue sky. Leg fell asleep right in the middle of that. <laughs> uh, sitting on the corner of the couch, I guess, cutting my circulation off. But enough of my personal troubles. Let's hear Harry again. Again. Well, we got we got to work Steve back into the list. I think he wants to get get on the list somewhere. But you know, I'll go ahead and play one. You want to play one now? You, we can just put no. you in right here. Okay. Oh, wait. Go, go okay. ahead. I'll, later.
through time again It happened Her heart was broken Then It happened again There is no happy ending But with luck her heart will heal Two times again Two times again That's how heart It happened. Her heart was broken. Then it happened again. Then it happened again. I'm going to sing a really sad song next time. Oh. <laughs> Not again. It happened again. Again, yeah. Again. Well, uh, according to my schedule by our secretary, Keith, Keith will be next, Jimmy, Jenny, and then Steve would be after that, unless, unless we have other ideas. But Keith, are you ready to go? I, I'm ready to go. I'm just still looking at Harry. <laughs> yeah. All right. There I am. There we go. Mama does the cooking every day in our house and she's taught us all the proper way. Biscuits don't come in a poppin' fresh can. The beans in your chili just ain't okay. Be sure to make enough for all your kids and kin who drop by your homestead. But the number one rule of them all, she said, was bitter don't go in your cornbread. But Papa and his friends like their cornbread sweet. They sneak off every weekend just to bake themselves a treat. They head to the piney woods early in the morn with a big pack of sugar and a bushel of corn. They cook all day and they don't come home till late. So stuffed with cornbread they can't walk straight. Me and my brothers were all waiting for the time to taste some of Papa's home cooking in the pines. so wrong with sugar in your cornbread pan. Now she rolled her eyes and let out a heavy sigh and just said, oh that man. Then one day when big brother came of age, he went with Papa to that dell. And later that night when he came home to bed, he said, that stuff is really swell. Now Papa and his friends like their cornbread sweet. They sneak off every weekend just to bake themselves a treat. They head into the piney woods early in the morn With a big sack of sugar and a bushel of corn They cook all day and they don't come home till late So stuck with cornbread that they can't walk straight Now me and my brothers were all waiting for the time To taste some of Papa's corn cooking in the pine Yeah, if I ever do get my way I'm going to taste some of Papa's home cooking someday. Woo-hoo! And a new one? That's a new one. Uh, wrote it 10 days ago. Uh, this Friday night is the Louisville Quarterly Songwriters Challenge, and the prompt this quarter was home cooking. 
So I spent two months trying to work out a song about uh, my family's tradition of having beans and cornbread every Tuesday night. And uh, Sunday a week ago, I just threw it all away and said, I got to try something different. And this is what I came up with. So I hope it goes over well. All right. We are back around to Jenny. Thank you. There's nothing like sweet cornbread. <laughs> I saw it riding through. I saw it riding through. One fall night, slow driving rolls. I saw it riding through. White cherry a hot with southern tags. Luggage loaded, babe, come through. I saw it riding through, I saw it riding through. One quiet night, it beckoned me, I saw it riding through. A wedding ride, be by my side. Airport stickers, Lord, who else knew? I saw it riding through, I saw it riding through. One star dark night, my soul grew wild. I saw it riding through. Your plan to harm me, take me from him. Gave me adventure, but took love true. I saw it riding through, I saw it riding through. Right in our lane ahead, awfully curious. I saw it riding through. Let's raise a toast, a big boy hoax. Your jealous curse is how I grew. I saw it riding through. I saw it riding through. One day bright night, we changed our lives. Cause I saw it riding through. I saw it riding through, who I saw it riding through, and his reward was my heart true. Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. Now, Steve, are you ready? Give it a go. You're muted. We can't hear you. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure I'm ready, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. <laughs> and I hope I remember the words because I haven't sung this song in quite some time, but here we go. It's called Looking for Love. My wife is sitting here with me, so don't say anything about me looking for love because... You know. Okay. I turned the page in my book of regrets and I found your name I wrote it there when I was looking for love And you were playing your game And I didn't know you would cause me Such heartache, such pain Back when I was looking for love You were playing your game Looking for love, 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 and love never came back when I was looking for love, and you were playing your game. I opened your bag of lies, and I found them all. Some I remember quite well Others I can't recall But the words that I wrote in my book And the lies that you told Took their toll Nothing's the same as it was When I was looking for love Oh, looking for love Looking for love Looking for love Looking for love, looking for love, but love never came 
Back when I was looking for love And you were playing your game 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 Back when I was looking for love And you were playing your game Playing in your game Awesome. That was very good. Very good. Thank you. My, my apologies for my sound of me ch chomping on snacks here. <laughs> I, I do that all the time. All the time I forget to mute. So maybe I'll remember, though, for Ace Pounder right here. Cruising well, right through our TV screen. Our that's right. Screens. Well, first of all, I'm going to take off my headphones because for this song I need to be in character this is the new look Woo! I, like <laughs> I got I got this down in the, the Caribbean so this song is about the Caribbean so I am going to uh, be a correctly uh, costumed now this song I wrote uh, this morning I've been writing this over the second days only one problem with the song and that is I haven't written the music yet so I'm going to kind of make it up as I go along I got a kind of a vague idea of how it should sound but uh, this is a little add to the the lovely island that we were on called Roatan so without further ado I have no idea how this is gonna go So here's a little song about Roatan, the charming little island of Caribbean land. The people greet you kindly with a homegrown band on the island of Roatan. The food is just as fresh as the drop in the sea. The conch and the kingfish will set you free. You gotta get a portion of those rice and beans on the island of Roatan. Roatan, Roatan, lose your blues and work on your tan. Roatan, Roatan, lose the blues and work on your tan. An island in the sea of flowball blue, with palm trees loaded with ripening food. And walking round the town will do you good. That's the magic of Roatan. When you get there, be sure to ask for Manuel. He's the person you need to know well. He knows everything there to tell. He's like the mayor of Roatan. Miguel will take you around on an island tour To sample chocolates at the chocolate store And don't forget Don Victor's for a fine cigar On your tour of Rotan Rotan, Rotan Lose your blues and work on your tan Roatan, Roatan, lose your blues and work on your tan. It's a lovely place. I highly recommend it. I like the hat. So, I, you know, I like to kind of experiment on stuff on the show, so... Nice job. I was following, I was checking you closely for a while there to make sure you were keeping, you know, uh, faithful to a, you know, your verse structure and your next verse structure. And then you did your kind of chorus thing and then you went to, I guess, a bridge or something. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, yeah, you were paying attention to the, 
I'm going to ha- I'm going to have to go through the uh, the words and make sure that they all kind of, you know, time out correctly, but hey, I finished it this morning. What do you want? You know. <laughs> well, uh, I I understand Dylan says I, I don't worry about it. I'll fit those words in. <laughs> you know, he, he he'll, he'll make a way to phrase them. If those are the words he wants, he'll make a way to phrase them. That's right. guitar effect yeah that's just my mxr phase 100 yeah huh. very cool I, I i i had it written down here i did it last week but i'd forgotten that there was another verse that i'd totally forgotten about and i found it and i wrote it down but i didn't have it i didn't have a signal for and so I, that's why i was looking for it and i you know spaced out oh well get me off the screen please Hello. All right. All right. Y'all were talking about Military Parkway. In my song, it's called the Military Road because that's what it used to be. It was a military road before it was Military Parkway. Here's a song about another outlaw who used to haunt or or actually live in an area uh, that I grew up in. In the land of the blazing sun, a legend arose about a woman outlaw with a spirit strong and bold. Full of mystery are her fierce and daring eyes. Bell Star is her name, and she rides on through the sky as a ghost of Bell Star. Sparrow. 
She grew up in the Ozark in the time of Civil War. Her brother rode with Quantrell, found a bullet in 64, forced to flee the violence from her farm and field of green. She drove her pa's wagon through Texas to Syene. Her father built a hotel near the military road, a hideout of the James Gang, and the younger soon followed. She loved and wed the outlaws, Jim Reed, Sam Starr, and Younger. They'll outlive them all to the age of 41. Now the ghost of Bell Star, the outlaw queen. Grand in hand to Jim's best friend, the Paris ambush, I heard tell. Sam was killed on the Canadian while Belle was still in jail. Bruce Younger went to Colorado and died with nothing left. A hard time to live in the wild and rugged West. From the hills of Oklahoma to Red River's rolling bands, Belle gnomed Indian territory, seeking her revenge. Of the wrestler and the bushwhacker who shot her through and through. She holds a secret who no one ever knew. Through the shadow she glides, dressed in velvet black attire with a 45 at each side. The younger Reed and Star some nights join her on her ride. From the Creek Nation to where they're haunting our Texas skies. The echo of the past where the prairie rims a whale. Bale's apparition is a legendary tale. Haunting outlaw trails where once she rode so free. A spirit of the frontier for eternity. Rides a ghost of Bell Star, the outlaw queen. A halo of light neath the pale moon's gleam. So Syene was a little town that is no longer, but it stood between, um, it just before you got to Mesquite, headed east from Dallas, was Syene. There, as hints, you, you, you hear of Syene Road. Well, Syene Road took you to Syene. <laughs> huh. well, my, my wife grew up right there on Bearden Lane, very, very near there. Yeah. 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 Huh. Wow. Well. It was Don's area, too. He grew up around there. One time over at my parents' house, they had a drawer full of maps. And I wish I'd kept it, but they had like an old map of Dallas. It was just kind of fascinating to look at. All oh. the wide open spaces and 
little airports that no longer exist, Highland oh, Park Airport. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah, that would be really neat to look at. In fact, that yeah. might be wor- that would have been worth some money right now, probably. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Old map of Dallas. Yeah. That'd be fun. So, I guess we're back to me. Uh, I, maybe, maybe I can take charge here and do, let's see, replace spotlight. There I am. Okay. So I'm going to try, I did this song last week, a song on my dead gad tuned guitar. Um, really hadn't practiced this much the last few days, but so we'll see what happens. Same song I did last week, I called My Cure. <laughs> Body's aching, or some brain cells they may seem to be missing. They say getting old it ain't for sissies, but what will fix me is something distracting, like a girl walking by who's very attractive. Yeah, that's my cure. Just what ails me, a good looking girl? I forget my worries, my little troubles I can now endure. Aside for sore eyes, that's my cure. Yeah, now, sometimes I get a little cough. I feel tired and lose my train of thought. I worry how I can't remember people's names. I try and I pretend just the same. But then when a pretty girl passes by, I forget my troubles in a blink of an eye. Yeah, she's my cure. Just what ails me, she's my cure. My favorite kind, she's my cure. My troubles say goodbye, I feel so high. That's for sure, that she's my cure. She's my cure. I made it through. Yeah. So, what was that uh, minor chord that you played? Will you show show us the fingering on that minor chord? Um, okay. Well, first I've got to tune dad gag. Right. D A D G A D. And so then you were just playing one four five, and then. Then when you then you went up to the deal and you played a minor chord up the yeah, frets. Yeah, actually, what is there there's a D, very simple, just one uh-huh. for E minor. I'm, it's kind of a, I guess I'm E minor add four or something because there's an A in there, but otherwise it's E B E G A E. And then for F sharp minor, I'm just kind of gives that uh, droning sound. That's still not the chord I'm talking about. The, the A and B, and, and then the sixth and chord, I think. Yeah, I think I think it might have been the six. Yeah, that one up there. Yeah, that one. That one okay. would be like the sixth minor. Uh huh. 
I want to call it C sharp minor, but actually it would be a B minor, because that D, D, G, A, B minor. And what I'm doing is, is these two, okay. yeah. and this single one on the, that string. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just had to stop and think, let's see, what notes? And, oh, that that would be a B minor for you. Yeah, that sounds like a real chord, too. I mean, you know, not, 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 not a dad yeah. dad chord, but a real chord, actually. So yeah, it's, it's taken a while to kind of figure these chords out, but I think oh. uh, our friend um, who gave the lecture on the Jamie. dad daddy. Mm -hmm. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. Jamie, he was showing a B, a B minor there down there but I don't know I kind of like that one's a little easier for me to make up here but anyway yeah it's kind of fun playing around with that so that's my story I'm sticking to it <laughs> um so it's Harry next right yeah I don't have no dead gum tuning like Alan does. That sounded good. My microphone's about to fall off. Hang on here. Well, I don't need to get thanked up to prove that I'm a man. I got problems, oh Hank Williams, sure would understand. My woman up and left me, so what am I to do? I'm all choked up and teary-eyed, crying in my old dudes. I'm crying in my old dudes, looking like a fool. My love life's over, I'm cold sober, drinking this near beer brew, crying in my old dudes, I can't believe that it's true. While my heart's breaking, I'm sitting here drinking, crying in my old dudes. Now I wish I'd never seen her, it was happy hour that night. When I asked her out, she said, you're too drunk, but boys, she was my type. So I went on the wagon, just to show her I could be cool. But when I got all sobered up, she found somebody new. And I'm crying in my old dudes, looking like a fool. My love life's over, and I'm cold sober, drinking this near beer brew, crying in my old dudes. I can't believe that it's true. While my heart's breaking, I'm sitting here drinking, crying in my old dudes. <laughs> Oh, you mother's gonna feel real grateful when I get behind the wheel. A broken heart won't kill you, but drinking and driving will. So I'm crying in my old dude, looking like a fool. My love life's over, and I'm cold sober, drinking this near beer brew. Crying in my old dudes, I can't believe that it's true. While my heart's breaking, sitting here drinking, crying in my old dudes. While my heart's breaking, I'm sitting here drinking this non-alcoholic 
comes in a green bottle, semi-nutritional, sort of bitter tasting, cost as much as anything else. Kind of brew. And you ladies need a designated driver. I'm drinking old duels. <laughs> My song. <laughs> Just look out. He may be a dirty old man. Hey, Harry, he Harry. It could great, be. It could great be. Great song, Harry. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Oh, shoot. Keith is up next. Let's see if I can do this. Ooh. Oh, you meet me to it. I have slow mouse fingers. My fingers are dyslexic, so that's that's why I type wrong all the time. It was early afternoon with a dark and cloudy sky south of Hugo, Oklahoma, in the middle of July. Then Scott was staring at a red spot on his I think really mean he could get there in two hours. He might catch an awesome sight of him crossing Lake Eufaula in the early evening light. Perhaps a GF5 tornado reaching to the ground, ripping up the real estate and throwing it all around. He wasn't seeking thrills, he only wanted to make a little proud. Chasing all the star fronts out on those open plains, hoping the folks in Hugo would recognize his name. Middle child of three, and he never seemed to clear the bar he felt to his family held up so high and dear. Little brother was an High school football star, his sister was a kid, so she was really going far. Well, he thought he was an all star man, a man who never won. Just Benny never led the pack to anything he'd done. Then one day on the TV screen, he saw that faithful show of people running around the country chasing. only wanted to make them proud, to be the front runner to those monsters from the clouds. Chasing all the storm fronts out on those open plains, hoping for the folks to hear you go would recognize his name. Well, he loaded up his gear and he sauntered on his drive. He got there around 4.30, the storm front came at 5, he hoped to take a photograph like no one has before, he barely had his tripod set, the wind began to roar, 30,000 feet of thunderheads were filming to the sky, then he saw the funnel from the corner of his eye, he focused on his prey, he never looked around, he didn't see the billboard that was ripped out of the ground. How the tempest was spectacular as it danced about. Benny never saw it, cause he was bleeding out. The remnants of that billboard struck him in the head. Benny Scott lay on the Back down south in Hugo, his family and friends had gathered there to mourn the news of Benny's tragic end. Why did he have to 
only wanted to make them proud To be the front runner to those monsters from the cloud He didn't know the love he craved was there all of the time The ones he left behind him, well they were like his own gold You know, you know why they put trailer houses out on the edge of town, don't you? To attract the tornadoes and keep them away from the regular keep, houses. Keep them from going down through the center yeah. of town. <laughs> All right. A good minor key song. All right. Jenny is our next contestant. Are we competing? For a prize? I hope not. Contestant. <laughs> you said Alan contestant. I know. <laughs> I'm being silly. Perfection. Get off your high horse. If you're a calculating fan, what you got from me was true. You will miss me in the end. Perfection might never be for me. It's been a few years now, and I can say with all I've seen, an alpha is an alpha, and that ain't gonna end. I can bend to a leader, but I'll always lead a friend. Perfection, I've been bitten by you. If you come up with an act, leave the drama that you bring here. Don't forget your hat. I'm open to you being the exception to the rule. But with my first whip of pride, girl, I ain't nobody's fool. Perfection, go and make another friend. If we're going to lock horns, I've had enough years to see. All you'll see from me is scorn. Perfection might never be for me. It's been a few years now, and I can say with all I've seen, an alpha is an alpha, and that ain't gonna end. I can bend to a leader, but I'll always lead a friend. Perfection, I care about your ideals. You don't seem to see clearly momentum's what I bring. You can keep your mind tricks, but perfection's what I'll sing. Perfection, get off your high horse. If you're a calculating friend, what you get from me was true. You will miss me in the end. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see. Steve, are you ready for another, to do another? Uh, may as well, thank you. <clears throat> this song was written in some of my darkest days. It's called, How Can You Love Me Now? How can you love me now After all the things I've done I turned my back on you Denied your only son I let my eyes stray away from you Let my heart grow cold like stone I closed my ears to the truth I told you, leave me alone I went out on my own Tried to make it through each day But I was not alone Oh, you never went away And I didn't understand Why you held on so tight To this lonely, broken man Oh, deep in the dark of night How can you love me now? After all the things I've done I turned my back on you Denied your only song I let my eyes stray away from you Let my heart grow cold like stone I closed my ears to the truth 
I told you, leave me alone. Well, I slipped into the darkness to a place far down below. I tried to slip away from you, but you wouldn't let me go. Oh, and it gets away from me, no matter how hard I try. Oh, Lord, help me understand, help me understand the reason why. Oh, how can you love me now? After all the things I've done, I turned my back on you. And at night you're only son. I let my eyes stray away from you. Let my heart grow cold like stone. I closed my ears to the truth. I told you, leave me alone. Well, I stood there at the cross, and I stared at the ground. I looked up and saw his tears. I turned my head when he looked down. I walked away from his grace. As the tears roll down his face And I don't know how I don't know how Oh, how can you love me now? Oh, how can you love me now? How can you love me now? After all the things I've done I turned my back on you I deny your only son I let my eyes stray away from you. I let my heart grow cold like stone. I close my ears to the truth. I told you, leave me alone. Oh, I close my ears to the truth. I told you, leave me alone. That was awesome, Steve. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Woo -hoo. Yeah, you should join us more often. Please. Thank you. <laughs> All righty, righty. So it's time for Ace Pounder once more. All right. I'm going to do a relatively old one that I found myself, it's a really a piano song, but I found myself singing this to myself recently, so. It's called, We're Here for the Ones We Love. The question is foundational for philosophers and fools. Why are we here anyway? Perspectives are extensive because we're apprehensive. But I found a simple answer, so I say. We're here for the ones we love They are all that really matter To hold them close when thunder gathers And threats come from about above We're here for the ones we love we're here for the ones we love The kind of connection is the only answer When positive tests come back for cancer When push it comes to shove We're here for the ones we love We're not here to be famous Fame can never last Love is the only way to save us 
If we hold each other fast We're here for the ones we love The source of joy through bitter sadness Even during painful madness Bringing hope like Noah's dove We're here for the ones we love We're here for the ones we love we're here for the ones we love. It sounds better on piano, Aww. but right, you get the idea. <laughs> so nice. Yeah, very good. I kept thinking... I hope you keep playing and playing and playing because I haven't decided what to try to follow that with. I had two ideas that I was halfway thinking about but wasn't sure about. But this is idea number three, which I think is probably the one. Just because gaze into her eyes her only inches away just because you tell her that you need her in each and every way for all of the reasons that I've ever had some of them good and some self-doubts and your worries arise well I know my heart and I know that it's true cause I worry too but I still Just because you hold her in your arms and touched her everywhere. Just because you've traveled to and fro and landed here, not there. For all of the reasons that I've understood, some of them bad and some of them very good what do you think as you gaze through the years la -da 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 -da, the joy and the tears well I know my heart and I know that it's true cause I worry too but I still Cool guitar sound. 
Great sound, this, Bill. Uh, detuned thing. I like Thank that. You. So you have the, you have the it tuned to a D tune, open tuning, or it's uh, <laughs> it's an E. It's an E tuning. E. It's a G style tuning, only tuned down a step and a half. Oh, okay. Good. Yes. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same tuning as the last. This is the is the first song I did. Oh, okay. That door just opened. A ghost came in. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, I'm going to All right. do. You want to close this out? Uh, are, is it time already? Well, wow. yeah, about seven minutes left. Well, you'll have to do your uh -oh. one-minute song, <laughs> of course. Well, you know what? I I heard a disturbed thing that I didn't know that um, U.S. is supposedly holding back uh, aid to Israel. Um, and um, so uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu came out and spoke, spoke out about it today. Anyway, I wrote this prayer back in October when the war started, and um, I just think that the more... I pray, hopefully the better it'll get.
that's that's really hooky that that last Israel. Well, you great been song. It's a great I song. Lo I love it. Yes. Yeah. What are you doing, Kitty? So you are going to be playing tomorrow night for Journey of a Song, right? Yes. Uh huh. All right. Yep, Emmeline invited me. My back is not doing too well, so I'm bringing out a, a the lightest keyboard that I have. <laughs> you can to haul up and down those stairs or that ramp or whatever. You know, it's a long way to drag in something. Well, she's usually got one there. I don't know. I mean, usually, I've some, seen other some, people yeah. play keyboards, and they always bring their own, so... Okay. I'm bringing one. She's riding with me, so guess who's going to get to carry it? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean honestly, I can carry that thing. It's it's really, yeah. it's very light. It's like a toy almost. You know, it's it's a very. It's the light accoutrements piece. that come with it that weigh a lot. No, it's just not. I mean, I'm I'm not taking much. Just that little keyboard and a little satchel, and that's it. <clears throat> Not It'll bringing the fun. Marshall stack. <laughs> you no, know, no Marshall stack. <laughs> but it'll be fun. That'll be the, at the opening bell tomorrow night from seven until eight thirty, I believe. Is that is that That's time? That's what right? I thought. But uh, Harry I, put six thirty to eight. Maybe it is seven to eight thirty. There you go. It's, I think it's, it's, seven it's an to hour and a half. Yeah. 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 Seven to eight thirty. That sounds more right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it'll be my. Uh, a while since I've played down at Opening Bell. Long time, I guess. It'll be fun. Well, I guess Harry's going to record it to stream it to YouTube or put it on YouTube or whatever. Yeah, we'll get a good recording on it. We'll podcast it and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. be fun. I think we're waiting on Alan, aren't we? For him. Well. Minute, one minute song. Our host, no telling. He sometimes he wanders off. That's right, he does. <laughs> Where's Maggie? Maggie, she just wandered out here. She she takes a long nap late in the afternoon on my bed, but she just wandered out here. She's around here somewhere. I guess you can't see her. She's somewhere back that away. <laughs> We're gallery so, view now. So, we got one minute left for one more song. I'm the host and I'm saying this song can't be too long. Feel like I better pick up the pace before a blue hair teen with a ukulele takes my place. Now there's just half a minute left to finish and persuade. Someone to hire me for a gig where I might actually get paid. There's a girl up front and I want to impress her, but there's so little time, so much pressure, but ah, oh, it's too late now, cause look, here comes the hook. that's all anybody have any last minute words of wisdom just thanks for including me alan thank you man all right oh, glad you joined us you're enjoy, welcome every week us. steve we always enjoy see, hearing you uh there steve put us Absolutely. on gallery alan put us on gallery we're on gallery somebody oh, oh we are we are yeah okay well let's let me get my gallery going then so i can all see right. everybody good gallery oh, yeah. gallery Hi, right, we've been galleryized. <laughs> night, everybody. Good night. Good night, night everybody. Everybody. Bye. 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 -bye. <laughs>